Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we'll explore an exciting new functionality in Autodesk Docs. Right now we're inside Autodesk Construction Cloud, Docs in particular, and Files. So what are we going to be reviewing today? Today we're going to talk about the functionality that was released last November regarding opening and editing DWG files with AutoCAD Web. So this is really exciting because in the past, whether it was BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud, you could only view files. And then if you wanted to make edits, you have to download, edit and re-upload the file. So this is the first time that there is an actual editing functionality within the system. Let's explore it together. If we are back here in Docs, I'm already prepared in one of our folders created inside this test project and I've already uploaded a DWG file so we can test the functionality. All we need to do is open a DWG file inside your folder structure. As you can see, I have this Villa document here. And there is this link in the top right corner saying open in AutoCAD web app. So let's click it. There's a pop-up saying that pop-up dialogs must be enabled to open DWG files. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So this is taking us to AutoCAD website. And with the web version, of course, we'll have to log in with our Autodesk credentials. In this case, I'm already logged in, so we just need to wait for it to load. Okay, so we are here in our AutoCAD file in the web version. We can see the same elements that we have, like our pool, our lines, okay, layers. Let's just make a few changes. So I'm just going to delete a few items to test this editing functionality in Autodesk Docs. Okay, I think that's fine. Maybe we can move this table. Okay, let's say that these are the changes we wanted to make. Now we can go on and save. I think that's it. So once we did the changes that we wanted to do and we saved the file, let's go back to Autodesk Docs. And as we can see, there's now an updating icon and we can see in the version that is showing V2. So now we have two versions of the same file. If I click here, I can see the previous version and the new version, the time I've updated it. And let's open it again, just to make sure that our applied changes from the web version are there. Let's zoom in. Yes. Isn't this exciting, guys? So now you can open DWG files from the AutoCAD web app using your same username and password you use for Autodesk Docs in your AutoCAD web app. Look, here are the changes. We deleted these styles and we moved the table. So this is really exciting. Now let's do a small exercise to make this more interesting. We already opened our DWG file in Autodesk Docs. We edited it via the AutoCAD web app. And we, now we have two versions of the file. So if we open our DWG again, any of the two versions, and we go to this top right corner and click compare, we can choose our two files, version one and version two, to compare. So let's do that and click compare. And we can see with color exactly what was changed. So in blue color, we have the changes that the things that existed in version one, but I deleted for version two, like these three tiles. And we can also see the movement of the table.
Now, if we've done doing our comparison, we can hit exit comparing. And now we have our normal settings. Okay, so you must be wondering, Carolina, that's nice, but what if I need to do more edits than just deleting some tiles or moving the table? Which other options do I have with AutoCAD Web App? Well, you have all these draw options for rectangles, circles, and lines. You have the annotate options for certain measurements or certain text that you need to add. And you can also modify it with the typical commands in AutoCAD like mirroring and others. So remember that there's also the command line, which is very powerful. And you also here have snapping and polar and some of the most known features of AutoCAD. If you want more details, again, it's always good to go to the help here at the top right corner. If you go to the help, you will find this detailed AutoS AutoCAD Web App help menu. And inside the frequently asked questions, for example, you can find some of these questions you may be having. So what about other languages that are available? We have all of this here, including Spanish, for example. Also, uh, what if I repeat the last commands? What happens with my license? Basically, if you have an AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT uh, license, you are subscribed to it in the desktop version, you should have access to the uh, AutoCAD web app. But anyways, you can check with your reseller any questions that you have regarding licensing and how to have access to it. Again, it's very important if you're a student, for example, um, why is that mentioning here? Can I use the editing tools if I have a student license? So the web app is included with your Autodesk Education license. So take advantage of that if you're a student. And moreover, something else I want to show you is when you access the AutoCAD web app, you'll have this sort of menu and you can connect to different storage providers. But of course, Autodesk Construction Cloud is way better because of the functionality I just showed you. Any edits and version tracking will be done automatically because it's linked within the system, while in other cloud storage providers it won't. But I mean, there are all these alternatives so you can take advantage of the AutoCAD web app. Last but not least, let me show you where you can see all the latest updates to Autodesk Construction Cloud and Autodesk Docs. You can click the help icon and go to help, which I already have it open, and there is a section here called what's new. If you click here, you can see the latest updates per month, in this case, the November updates where we have this new functionality to open and edit DWG files with AutoCAD Web. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.